what's up legions in today's video we're going to be showcasing integer scale and we're going to show you guys how to actually get this i know some of you guys might have the update but still don't have integer scaling so we're going to show you how to get it and we're going to show you guys how to apply it and see if this actually makes a difference so if that's something you guys were interested in, make sure you hit the like button and subscribe to the channel let's get right into this video so one of the ways to get into just scale is to download the latest VGA driver. We'll put that link in the description. If that's something you guys were interested, we showcase videos on how to do that. But follow those steps, download that, install that. It should be good to go. Now, the second way is doing it manually, which is the way that I prefer going because I've tried download the VGA driver. That didn't work and doing it manually works. So in order to do that, you just want to open up search here and then you want to go into registry editor. So hit your here and then here you're just going to follow this command i'll post it in the description below as well so you just want to open up hk local machine open it up here next you want to go to system here and then from system you want to go to control here and then from control you want to go to class as you've seen here after you go to class you want to then open up this folder here the 4d36 e968 e three two five one one c b f c one dash o so you just want to make sure that you open this one up once you open it you'll see a folder called zero 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 so after you open up the zero 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 folder here you want to enter this command so just hold the trackpad here you'll see new click new and then you want to do d word 32 bit value so once you do that it gives you this to enter so next you want to type this exactly like you've seen here dial embedded integrated scale and support so once you do so you click on it you go to modify and you want to make sure the value is at one after you hit one hit okay it saves it all you have to do is then you restart it and then by doing so you should now be able to go to your amd software go to gaming go to display and you should see GPU scale and you have to turn this on to begin with to get into just scale and going. So you turn it on like that and then make sure you turn on into just scale. And so that is how you set up into just scale and manually. Now that we got that out of the way to actually use into just scale and what you have to do is just open up your resolution here. Make sure that you're running it at 2560 by 1600 here. And this is how you can tell this on too. If you click the 1200p here, it gives you the screen. That's how you know that into just scale is working. Then you want to come here and set it to 1600p here. So now that we have it here. We're going to open up a game. All right. So next you're going to go to settings here. You are going to make sure that this is at 800 P and you can run it at windows or you can run it at exclusive screen windows as well. Some people say you can run this at full screen, but I've tried it at full screen and I think it works pretty well on full screen as well. But again, this is just me. All right. So let's open this up. You can see here the display settings at 1600 P but the resolution is at 800p, right? So let's test this out and let's see how this one works. All right, so here we have Spider-Man. Let's just open up the FPS counter and see what FPS we're getting with this one here. So as you can see here, this is Spider-Man running with integer scaling on, and this game looks incredible. Something I like about integer scaling is that it gives you the 800p resolution, but then it pops out a lot as you can see here this game looks gorgeous but not only that you're getting close to 60 fps here running this one and this is medium graphical settings as well so again integer scaling works pretty well and looks really good running on this device now again as you can see this looks absolutely incredible let's take a look at this light here so you guys can see real quick the sunset Look how gorgeous this looks on this display, right? But something to note here, honestly speaking, I don't think integer scaling is what is making this run as well as it does and look as good as it does. We have another video coming up here to where I feel like there was something done with 800p recently that has just made this device run really well at 800p and look good. The blurriness is gone. Again, that's for a separate video. So if you guys were interested in that, make sure you stay tuned. The reason I say that just to give you a little look at that before we make that video, right? So you'll see here if I was to take off integer scaling and just go to the resolution here, you'll see again, this one is now at 800p 
and I still have my settings and you'll see this game still looks gorgeous at 800p so again we'll turn off integer scale in here let's go home and I've done this before so let's go home we'll shut this off completely right integer scaling is off all right so here we have integer scaling off we're just going to go to exclusive full screen again we're going to apply this and you guys will see this is now at 800 resolution and again let's go to amd here you see that integer scaling is off right but you'll see this game still looks absolutely incredible running and that makes me believe that this is not into just scaling doing what it does and there's just been an upgrade to the 800p performance on this device but here we go again as you've seen this looks fantastic still we'll try to go back to that spot and look at my fps count it's just running just as well as it was previously but yeah graphically as you can see here 800p still looks absolutely gorgeous this is the same scenario that we we're in and you'll see this one looks just as good as it did running into just scaling so again it makes me believe that lenovo did an upgrade with 800p in this device to where it looks really clear now and you don't need into just scaling or fsr at times to make this look good at 800p but yeah just want to highlight this show you guys how to use into just scaling and show you guys this new 800p upgrade here that we're seeing let me know what are your thoughts in the comments below. Appreciate you guys. We'll catch you guys in the next one. Until next time, peace out.